behind me you'll see the uh, Genesis T8 series smart tracks. All right, the first of its kind. We know that twin track machines have been a staple on many farms for many years now. But those twin tracks have some inherent flaws, as in a lot of firming on the end. They act like a skid steer on the ends. If you're planting with them, it makes it very difficult because they'll firm up where you've already planted. Additionally, you have compaction issues, you have soil stuffing issues, and you don't have full power turns. And what I mean by that is when you turn a twin track machine, like a bulldozer, you have to stop one track and speed the other one up. So you get that sliding action. So if you have an implement engaged in the ground at that point, guess where you're gonna go? Are you gonna turn left if you wanna turn left? You're gonna keep going straight until you disengage that implement. So what we've done is we've taken the comfort and we've taken the balance of a conventional tractor, a conventional wheel tractor, and added the benefits of tracks to it. So our conventional tractor has the perfect balance, a 60-40 weight split, which we like. We don't have to hang a bunch of weight on the front of the twin track, as we've seen and we have the full power turn. So where we want the tractor to go, the tires turn that direction, all right? So the benefits to the farmers are reduced compaction, no soil scuffing. If they want the track machine, no soil scuffing. They have the comfort of a conventional tractor, all right? Everyone likes how this rides, okay? We have the comfort of the conventional tractor and the farmer, producer, customer can get into the field in even marginal conditions. So where they would have wheeled units, and they might have to wait three or four days before they can get into the field. Maybe you have marginal conditions in the field. They can get in with this tractor and get that soil aired out. I've been in this tractor through little wet spots in the field. It has done wonderfully. Those spots have dried out because I was able to pull my tillage equipment through those spots. So I just like to say on average three to four days earlier. This year in the east we had an exceptionally wet spring. When I did a photo shoot for this tractor, it was an exceptionally wet field and we were able to complete the photo shoot 100% with this tractor, okay? So Nigel, did we turn it over to Chris Carrier? Yeah. We'll go to Chris Carrier, and he's gonna talk about uh, PLM and PLM Connects. 